What is up guys? It is Tony here and today we are here with Civilization 6. So this is a game that a lot of people want to run on this Mac and have been asking me to do a demo of. So let's get into it. Um, I see there's a benchmark test here. I'm going to click on it. Um, okay, so I think the AI is obviously going to do better, but let's start with graphics. All right, that's pretty cool. So running 65 FPSs. They move, now it's 75. <laughs> now it's 122. Dang. This, of course, is at recommended settings. Probably could up it with these sort of numbers. Okay, so average... Where's, huh? Average frame time? That's not very useful. Well, we saw some pretty good frames there. So let's go. Actually, I really quickly want to see what we're even running at here. So it's the 900p. Um, low memory optimized. Ah, so let's put it on high. Um, Reflection quality. Can't can't click on reflection quality for whatever reason. And I'm gonna keep the resolution because that seems to be what every game recommends, um, which makes sense. It makes a lot of sense because there's no need to run a game on a laptop at 4K near 4K resolution. But if you want, I can <clears throat> do a quick run. If this is gonna destroy this resolution and these settings, then we might as well up it in resolution. So we'll give it a shot if it's worth it. So this is the AI test. And this should definitely test the CPU power more, which the M1 I think is better at. Um, yeah, see there's a lot going on here. <laughs> these benchmarks are nice. This is how every game should work, honestly. So it looks like it's a time-based benchmark. Everything seems to be moving smoothly and quickly. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> so I guess, I don't know if this is even gonna give us a meaningful result because it's just gonna be a time number, I think. Average turn time is 11 seconds and 11.59 seconds. So take that for what it is. <laughs> you guys probably know what that means better than me. Um, but that being said, overall, this game runs really smooth to the point where I want to do one last test. Graphics test at a higher resolution. Um... Uh-oh, I can't go to a higher resolution. Uh, but I don't have anti-aliasing on. I just realized that. So let's do a test with anti-aliasing on graphics. So we will do one more test. I got to admit, putting anti-aliasing on changed the game. It looks a lot better. But it also changed the frame rate. Now we're down to 45 frames a second, which it's dipping into 40 it seems like. Oh, it just went down to 39 for a moment. But it seems like in the most graphics intensive scene here, it's at 40. So, uh, 38. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good because I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is a 60 hertz display. 
you're not going to see anything over 30 fps so you guys just want a stable fps number and this game has it maxed out so that is pretty nice so this is definitely a very playable game with the m1 mac hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any other games you'd like to see go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one